said to me, you're going to call, didn't you? The world said, you ought to be mad at them. Get them back. No, 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 no. I'm glad. No, no, don't say that, baby. They still God's child. They may not know it yet. And let not thine heart be glad when he stumbles. I heard some good old church folks say they got what they had coming to them. That's not your call. You don't know all things. Now notice why you don't want to do that. So you're not understand that. Less what? The Lord see it. Don't worry about what I see. Hmm? I know a lot of folks try to put their bottles behind everything when I walk up. Don't worry about me. How you going to hide it from me and then turn it up? I told y'all in the face of God. He didn't want to see it. I'm just telling you what the word says. He said, let the Lord see it. And it displeased him. Now, he's talking to his elect. Folks out there to drink, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Some things you're not supposed to do. It's just that simple. And God will let you know that. He said, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly, but you have to be under his anointing and under his guidance. And he turneth away his wrath of Ooh, Lord, Hammer. then he says fret not thyself because of evil man neither be thou envious at the wicked underlying that one because that a lot of times will get you stumbling you know what I'm saying uh, uh, get you off the path because man they, they seem like they, 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 they got it going on no they don't 20th verse let me let God tell you for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked, not might be, shall be put out. And too many times we listen to the rhetoric and don't know God's word. See, there's a whole lot of shaking going on out there you can get caught up in. Let's go. Would you read Haggai from me, sis? Chapter 1, verses 5 through five through seven and nine. That'll do it. That, that'll pretty well cover I want you to listen to this because this is why you don't get hung up. You don't, you don't trip out on when you see somebody you thought done done your wrong fall because or you get hung up in watching them do their thing because you need to understand what God said about this thing over here. Now you got to understand I can't do it for you. You can't do it for me. I, I heard a young man on the day while they looking it up. Big gospel guy. Had it going on. I, I should talk. I, I won't do nothing but his first name. His name, first name, Ty. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The boy got caught up. Now, luckily, he and his wife were able to make it right. I ain't saying nothing that been, had not been on public television, so I, I can go with it. Now, it, it, it doesn't, it just if they don't have it, I'll read them. Y'all got it? Okay. Look at that first. What does it say? In the NIV. Listen. Yeah, that's cool. I can live with that. Now, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought that's to it. your ways. You have planted much, but I have harvested, but have harvested little. What you talking about? You eat, but never have enough. My God. You drink, but never have your fill. You put on clothes, but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. What you say? Man, my Go ahead, This is what the Lord Almighty said. Give careful thought to your ways. Go up unto the mountains and bring down timber and build a house no, so right. that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You expect it much, but see it turns out to be little. My God. What you brought home, I blew away. Why? Blew away. Declares the Lord Almighty, because my house, which remains in ruin, will, while each of you is busy with your own house. Whoa, now you understand what the etymology of that is. Uh, remember, instead of you making this house, if you want to take it, the, the place where the Holy Spirit dwelleth, uh, the, you, you, you will make sure this house, when he 
knocks on the door, you open it and let him in. You say, because I stand at the door. Anybody read any Bible? And he said, I'm not. Let me in and what will I do? I will sit down and shut with you. In other words, I'll talk over your day. I'll let you know what, what, what's really going down. I, I don't know why y'all upset. I got it in control. Let's go to uh, Hebrews. We're going to spend a little time, then we're going to tell you what God really wants to do for right you before we go there. There's one verse I want everybody to understand. This is what God wants to do. Psalm 17, verse 5. I want everybody that's got a Bible. Look at this. This is all you got to do in the midst of your storm, whatever you're going through, when you're being tempted, or whatever. Because God don't want your foot to slip. That's just a Hebraism. But if you don't watch it, it will. I, I know I'm Bob baptized, Holy Ghost filled, and all that. Yeah, that sounds good. But you got a clay pot. You got to deal with that flesh. You got to beat that flesh into subjection. You ever read what Paul said? It says on 17.5. Hold up my going in thy path. Have you ever asked God to do it? You know you're getting ready to walk into a place. See, 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 I, I know one thing I do know. Ain't none of y'all, when you get ready to go out to book it down, you ain't going to have the same clothes you got on now. I'm getting in your bed. I don't mean no harm. Instead of the boy being down like my robe is now. You know them, them, them kind of stockings and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Then your britches going to drop down to him. And you can't, you be walking around like you got a load, boy. You need to pull them up. See, you're not, see, don't, 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 don't play with God. See, he ain't crazy. You see, now, I guarantee you, if I happen to see y'all out, I might be driving by and see y'all club. I guarantee you, you ain't going to be dressed like y'all now. So run into a house of idiots. And have fun with the idiots when you ought to know better. You know why I call them idiots? Because they call the slang uh, etymology of the oil, they, they call it idiot oil, if you didn't know it. That's what liquor is. Okay. Now don't get mad, I'm just telling you the truth now. Now listen. Now see, but God says now, you ask God, hold, hold up my going and what in thy path. So there are certain paths, I'm sorry, you might not like it, you're not supposed to be on. There's a highway called Holy, isn't it what it says? Yes, sir. Okay. Why? That my footsteps, what does it say? Yeah. Hmm? I don't know if y'all know that. That's in the book. And that slip means, that slip is, is not the same. See, slip has three different means. Slip that you make your nice stuff out of. But see, that's all we are, clay pot, see. Y'all didn't understand slip. Y'all know anybody down in the ceramics know what I'm talking about. In other words, you can't look up at the at the powder and you be the clay and try to tell him what you want to do. Don't work that way. Let, let, let's get a book on this, but they're looking at me a little bit strange. Go with me to Hebrews. We're gonna spend a little time there. And then we're gonna bounce back a little bit to Second Samuel twenty two. Now just go with me. Hebrews 1, Hebrews 2, verse 1. God is not stupid, y'all. I, I don't know what those things he is. It says, therefore, we ought. I said, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Who are you listening to? Uh, you say, I done told you some things. I wrote you a love letter. I, I've set up uh, what they call contrasting concouplers so you can understand that what happens if you go that way and what happens if you go this way. Now listen now, but but I live above sin. I, 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 I'm I Holy Ghost still and far back to I can't sin. That's not what God said. We all have left. This what? Listen now. Left at any time 